Meek is one of the best known female African American comedians in the USA. She ventured into live stand-up comedy and starred in movies, a talk show, and streamed comedy specials. Her career began when her brother suggested she try stand-up comedy and she took the stage at an open mic night at a comedy bar in 1988. Encouraged by the positive feedback, she started performing at comedy clubs in Baltimore, Atlanta, and along the East Coast. Eventually, she decided to leave her job as a customer service representative for a telecom company to pursue a full-time career in stand-up comedy. Following her stand-up success, she opened for musicians and featured in TV specials like Russell Simmons' Deaf Comedy Jam and Comic View during the late 1990s. Notably, Monique gained recognition through guest appearances on the TV show Moesha in 1999 and 2000, leading to a spin-off series centered around her character. The sitcom, The Parkers, became a five-season hit from 1999 to 2004. From 2004 to 2008, her venture into film commenced with various roles, spanning from the gritty portrayal of inner city life in Baby Boy to the comedic yet controversial Soul Plane. In addition to her stand-up performances, Monique joined the Queens of Comedy tour in 2000. Transitioning to acting, she gained attention for her role as a drug addict in Shadow Boxer voiced a character in Farce of the Penguins, and starred in the romantic comedy Fat Girls. However, it was in 2009 that Monique received significant critical acclaim for her powerful portrayal of the violent and sexually abusive Mary in Precious, based on the novel Push by Sapphire. In her role as Mary, Monique's acting was praised by the audience. Critics commended Monique for her skill in portraying the ignorance and desperation driving her character's inhumane actions. Her outstanding performance earned her the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. While acting in film, Monique also worked in televised shows. She hosted Monique's FAT Chants from 2005 to 2007 a beauty pageant celebrating full-figured women, and brought her assertive style of humor to the talk show arena with The Monique Show on Black Entertainment Television. In 2015, she portrayed Ma Rainey in the TV movie Bessie, a biopic about Bessie Smith. Monique continued her television ventures by hosting a comedy special, Monique and Friends Live from Atlanta, in 2020. In addition to her on-screen work, Monique authored Skinny Women Are Evil, notes of a big girl in a small-minded world, a candid exploration advocating for overweight women. She followed this with a similar cookbook, Skinny Cooks Can't Be Trusted. Her career was not that smooth as Monique also got entangled in different controversies. Monique has faced challenges, revealing in a 2008 Essence magazine interview that she experienced sexual abuse from her brother Gerald Imes during her childhood. She has been candid about her past and the impact on her life. In 2009, when Monique took on Precious, directed by Lee Daniels, she received a payment of $50,000. As the film gained critical acclaim and awards attention, she was asked to promote it at the Cannes Film Festival by executive producers Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey, along with the production company Lionsgate. Monique, however, declined, citing her contractual obligations to the film's director, Daniels. Following her Academy Award win for Best Supporting Actress, Monique expressed gratitude to the Academy for recognizing the performance rather than political considerations. She later revealed that Tyler Perry had apologized to her for how she was treated during the film's promotion. However, in a 2020 stand-up segment, Monique criticized Perry, Oprah, and others involved in the feud, expressing her devastation at Oprah's communication and describing it as malicious. In 2018, Monique accused Netflix of racial and gender bias for offering her $500,000 for a comedy special, far less than her peers. Netflix cited perceived market value rather than her resume. Monique called for a Netflix boycott and filed a 2019 lawsuit alleging discrimination and retaliation. By June 2022, they settled, and on July 19, 2022, Monique announced a new special with Netflix. Despite her successful career, Monique faced financial challenges, including a reported $620,000 in back taxes and legal issues with the IRS and the Georgia Department of Revenue. 
With a net worth of $13 million, it is a no-brainer that Monique will have some of the best properties in her portfolio. Let's take a quick tour of Monique's properties, which every normies dream of. Welcome to Monique's extraordinary mansion in McDonough, Georgia, a colossal 10,000 square foot haven on a vast 20 acre property. This is a perfect blend of modern and traditional styles, welcoming you with a touch of country charm that suits the Georgia landscape. Step inside and you'll find yourself in a world of luxury and comfort. The dining room exudes timeless elegance while the living areas boast warm hardwood floors, creating a cozy atmosphere. The kitchen with its old school vibe is the heart of the home, a place for family gatherings and grand entertaining. But that's not all. The basement is a hidden gem. It's an entertainment hub with a game area and a full kitchen for added flair. The mansion goes beyond the basics with a basketball court for recreation, a movie room for cinematic experiences, and even a tennis court and swimming pool for various interests. Outside, the grounds are as charming as the interiors. The tennis court awaits a friendly match and the swimming pool beckons for moments of relaxation under the Georgia sun. Monique's mansion isn't just a home, it's a lifestyle. It's a perfect mix of sophistication, comfort, and recreation, a place where luxurious living meets thoughtful design. Whether you're enjoying the views by the private lake or entertaining in the grand living spaces, this mansion embodies the essence of refined living in the heart of Georgia. Monique's real estate portfolio extends beyond her Georgia mansion, encompassing properties in various desirable locations. One of her notable residences is a stunning Mediterranean-style villa nestled in the hills of Brentwood, California. This three-story house boasts elegance with six bedrooms and eight bathrooms. Beyond the luxurious living spaces, the villa is equipped with state-of-the-art security systems and spa-like facilities, providing a blend of comfort and security. In Maryland, Monique owns a property that holds special significance as her childhood dream home. While details about this residence are limited, its sentimental value adds a unique layer to her real estate portfolio. Additionally, Monique has a city loft in New York City, characterized by modern design and panoramic views of the bustling metropolis. This urban retreat offers a contemporary living experience in the heart of the city that never sleeps. In Miami, Florida, the comedian and actress enjoys the pleasures of a beachfront villa. This property comes with private beach access and an infinity pool, creating a serene oasis with the rhythmic sounds of the ocean and breathtaking waterfront views. Monique, the multifaceted entertainer millionaire, also boasts a car collection that mirrors her diverse tastes and appreciation for both luxury and performance. First in the lineup is the BMW M3, an emblem of precision engineering and high-speed performance. This sporty marvel isn't just about acceleration. It combines cutting-edge technology with opulent interior features such as lavish leather seating, creating an exhilarating driving experience. Transitioning to the GMC Yukon Denali, Monique demonstrates her affinity for grandeur and spaciousness. This full-sized SUV transforms the road into a lavish sanctuary, offering heated seats, top-tier sound systems, and an abundance of technological amenities. It's an indulgent journey reminiscent of a private VIP lounge. Adding a touch of Japanese sophistication is the Lexus sedan. Renowned for its commitment to luxury, Lexus sedans redefine opulence on the road. Monique's Lexus likely exudes refinement with plush interiors, advanced tech features, and a gracefully smooth ride. Completing the ensemble is the Chevy Tahoe, representing practicality without compromising style. This large SUV strikes a balance between utility and luxury, featuring comfortable leather seats and sophisticated tech elements. It embodies the fusion of functionality and elegance. 
Monique's car collection is akin to a symphony, each vehicle contributing a distinct note to the overall composition. From the adrenaline-inducing BMW M3 to the expansive luxury of the GMC Yukon Denali, her choices showcase a sophisticated palette, affirming that her journey is not just about reaching a destination, but doing so with unparalleled style and flair on the roads. Monique's lavish lifestyle is a celebration of her hard work, resilience, and smart decision-making throughout her remarkable career. From her early days in stand-up comedy to achieving critical acclaim in films like Precious, Monique has forged a path that reflects both success and challenges. Her luxurious properties collectively represent the realization of her dreams and aspirations. Her diverse car collection, from the sporty BMW M3 to the spacious GMC Yukon Denali, the refined Lexus sedan, and the practical yet elegant Chevy Tahoe, symbolizes her journey through various stages of success. Monique's life is a testament to her commitment to her craft, entrepreneurial spirit, and authentic approach. Although we all dream of a life that is opulent or, at the minimum, can raise our family with dignity, we should all remember that every individual has different paths to success. We can't copy what she did, but of course, her success could be an inspiration for us. Before we wrap things up, I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Monique's mansion? And how do you feel about her rise to success? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you loved this exclusive peek into Monique's luxury homes and lifestyle, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Ring the notification bell and be the first to see my newest content. Once again, this is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat. Bye.